is important to recognize that landscape restoration is about regaining ecological functionality as well as enhancing human well-being. So we are not just talking about carbon benefits or adaptation, but a whole range of benefits that could deliver on both carbon, which is important, but also for restoration to be successful, it has to benefit the local people who depend on these forests or, or stakeholders who are using these resources for different purposes. I think significant progress has been made since last five years by, for, in engaging with the private sector, uh, particularly in terms of clarifying how this approach, the landscape approach, is useful to them and what are the issues and barriers private sector face in terms of investing in landscape approach. Uh, many developing countries in Asia Pacific region, they would like to have, um, they would like to increase the economic well-being of their people. However, at the same time, this often in the field translates into degradation drivers for forests and pressures for forests. I think after the Paris uh, Agreement, um, Asia Pacific re uh, forests become the uh, getting into the center of the climate adaptation and mitigation um, strategies. So, the f because of the areas and the important biodiversity that the forests in this region supports, it's important that we looked at uh, um, comprehensive strategies in conserving the forests in Asia Pacific regions so that we are better in a better position to combat climate change.